Oh, it's old is new again, this time with some flair. An iconic cafeteria just got a renovation that's been years in the making. Clifton's on Broadway Street in downtown Los Angeles has been around since the 1930s. CBS 2's Christy Fajardo gives us a sneak peek at the spectacle behind its glass doors. It's a piece of LA's living history. Even octogenarians have childhood memories of Clifton's. This is my mother's favorite place in town. Now the restaurant you grew up with. Oh, back in the 80s. We, we, we used to come in here and eat. Is reopening its doors on September 22nd after a four year remodel and more than $10 million. Expect old standbys from the black and white era. The Jello is still here. And upgrades from the digital age. I personally came here with my grandparents every Saturday. Barbara Jacobs is president of Kinetoscape, the company that now owns Clifton's. Those murals were found behind the wall. She says the project is deeply personal to her and Andrew Myron, the Hollywood filmmaker who designed the remodel and bought the landmark. We somehow just see something in a building that others don't see anything in and makes magic. And part of the magic is preserving memories captured in photos excited patrons are sending. Same floors, same stuffed animals, and some of the same comfort foods. They're going to find their macaroni and cheese, all the turkey and the trimmings. The big difference is that we're going to have farm to table. We're going to have California grown produce. Now they hope this generation will grow up with stories of dining around the new redwood that fills the three story atrium. I think that people are going to be awestruck by some of the changes. But the owners say the spirit is unchanged. The restaurant that during the Depression charged only what one could pay is now hiring 10% of its staff from social programs. We're not just going to give people meals. We're going to give them second, third, and fourth chances. And giving an old landmark a second shot at creating nostalgia. In downtown L.A., Christy Fajardo, CBS 2 News.